Hello everyone. This is Mama Shay. Everyone calls me Mama Shay. I am here to this first of all, this is my very, very first video blog. Uh, my daughter suggested it. I love to cook. I don't do homemade. I do what might be considered semi-homemade. Um, but my family loves all of the recipes that I make. Uh, some I create just out of boredom and some just to keep things different in the kitchen. Um, I bought this pressure cooker. It's a great pressure cooker. Um, and I decided to come up with a recipe for the cream of chicken, I'm sorry, cream of mushroom, chicken and rice. So I'm going to go ahead and start because I don't like to do a lot of chit chat, a lot of talking. And uh, again, I say this is my very first video blog, so excuse the virgin aspect. <laughs> Oh, the newcomer aspect of my blog, but I'm sure over time it'll get better and better. I do a lot of uh, pressure cooker cooking, crock pot cooking, and I do a lot of baking. I like to bake a lot of um, desserts and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and start. First of all, I have four chicken legs. My family is a dark meat family, so I make a lot of I cook with a lot of uh, dark meat. So I have four chicken legs. So um, I'm not cooking for a lot of people. Um, so I don't use a lot of chicken. And here are my four chicken legs. They've already been cleaned and everything. I put them in the bottom. Okay. I use Swanson. Uh, not necessarily Swanson. Just chicken stock. So and this is... 26 ounces. Okay, so I pour that in. And the flavor of this was out of this world. I was very, very, the first time I made it, I was somewhat surprised at how wonderful the flavor was. I have to be honest with you. Okay. I have crushed red peppers. I'm going to sprinkle a little crushed red pepper in here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I just got a whiff of it. <laughs> be careful with that if you're feeding a lot of kids. Got some parsley. It's not the fresh. <coughs> it is the prepackaged parsley. Okay, now, what I like to do with my chicken, first off, is to cook it a little bit before I put the rest of my ingredients in because I want my chicken to cook off the bone. I want to go in and remove all the skin, the bones, the gristle, and all of that um, because I want you to just be able to spoon it in your plate and just eat and not have to worry about pulling out bones and all of that. So, what I'm going to do is set this on 20 minutes. And then hit start. Okay, and it's on the right setting right here. And I'm gonna wait 20 minutes, come back, then I'm gonna add the rest of my ingredients to it. Like I said, I do want it to cook off the bone. That's why I'm cooking it a little bit ahead of time. So I'm gonna come back in 20 minutes. Can't wait. Hello everyone, I'm back. And I've let all the air out of my pressure cooker. So I'm going to go ahead and open the lid. And whoa, that looks so good already. And it's made a little extra broth because um, all of the steam and all of the uh, different uh, juices from the chicken have created a little more broth. So it's still, the chicken is getting done but it's not tender like I want it to be. So, what I'm gonna do is pick up my camera. I'm still a newbie at this, so I'm gonna pick up my camera and show you guys what it looks like inside. Okay, here we go. Bear with me. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. That's what we're working with now. Okay, so I'm gonna put my camera back down. 
but I'm thinking about getting a cameraman to assist me with this. And it'll probably be my wonderful grandson, Jalen. He loves to help me. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is, what, what you should do, you have two cans. I'm using two cans of cream of mushroom soup. And um, I like to add more broth to the cream of mushroom, mushroom soup <laughs> to thin it out so it's not so thick going in. Uh, if you've dealt with cream of mushroom or cream of chicken soup before, you know it's really thick. So I like to loosen it when I put it in. Okay? So I'm going to pour this in. All of it. Okay. I have one large onion already cut. I'm going to put that in also. Of course, you can do this without the onions. My family is an onion family. So we love onions. Except my grandson Jalen doesn't like onions. But uh he tends not to notice them too much in this dish. Okay? I have two cups of premium white rice. Um, I wouldn't use the really cheap stuff. You don't want it to clump together or anything. This is, when this is done, each grain stands for itself. It's great. So I pour that in. Right. Then I stir this up really really good do a lot of stirring all right and this is the consistency that we're working with here it's really loose but once the rice cooks the chicken's gonna cook some more the onions are gonna cook everything's gonna cook and the rice is gonna get cooked down uh, really good all the the, this watery juice is going to turn into wonderful, creamy deliciousness. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Oh, I did forget a little something. I almost forgot. Bear with me just a second. I put just a smidgen of butter in. Uh, actually, this is Blue Bonnet Light. So I put just a smidgen of this in here. Not a lot, maybe about that much. <laughs> yeah, just a smidgen to me. Okay, stir that up in there. Try to get it to melt some. Okay, stir it up real good. Okay, I'm gonna close it. Lock it tight. Put it on the same 20 minutes I did before. And, oh, nope. Turn it to airtight. And then start. I'll be back in about 20 minutes. See you then. Okay, hello everyone. 20 minutes later, smells so good in here. I'm gonna go ahead. I let my exhaust, I let all of my air out. I do it off camera because it seems to take a little while. So opening and yumminess. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna bring my camera over so you can see what I see. All right, now, as you can see, my rice has cooked. My rice is on the bottom, so I'm gonna stir to get all of my rice off the bottom. Now 
Now I want you to know that the rice will stick on the bottom some. And some of the rice turns brown. But don't think that it's burnt. I thought that the first time. I was worried. Um, but when I taste it, I realized, believe it or not, that the brown parts made it more flavorful. Which is odd, I know. So what I'm going to do... is sample my rice. I know it's done, but I'm going to sample it anyway to make sure. I'm going to sample my rice to make sure I have the desired tenderness. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, the saltiness leaving a little bit to be desired. So I'm going to add a little salt to mine. I don't remember having to have to add salt last time. It may just be the chicken broth that I use. Um, maybe one has a little less sodium than the other. I'm going to add a little pepper to it also. Just a little. A little more salt. Okay. Alright. Then what I'm going to do at this point. I'm going to show you again the consistency that we're working with. See, I'm trying to do it this way. So you'll see. This is the consistency that we're working with now. But this is not the consistency that I want. So what I'm going to do, put that back in here. Stir it up a little more. I'm going to close it, my lid, I think I'm going to put, okay, okay, I think I'm going to put it on maybe five more minutes if I can. Okay, the lowest I see is 10. Oh, there's 5. I'm going to put it on 5. It's trying to be difficult here, but I'm not going to let it win. I'm going to win. Now it's locked into place. 5 minutes start okay and I'm gonna see if I can uh, talk to you for five minutes <laughs> um, I came up with this idea to do the blog well actually my daughter did my daughter said mom you should video blog since you're always posting pictures on Facebook and pictures of my food and everyone was always asking me for my recipe because my recipes are so simplistic. Um, people are always asking me, well, this looks, this looks good. And I say, it's so simple. Well, why don't you post the recipe? So um, I decided to, to go ahead and do it today to see how it feels, you know. Um, so here we go. And um, what I'm gonna try to do is to try to try a bunch of different things and I may even try a couple of new things for the first time on camera um, I think that'll be fun you, you you can see how it's gonna come out along with me so um, get ready it's gonna be a roller coaster ride <laughs> um, another thing that my daughter wants me to post is my fried chicken recipe I uh, have an interest in marinade um, I use my Fry Daddy that I have over there, nice big one. I actually have two, um, but this one's kind of big. And um, my daughter loves my fried chicken. And I have this different recipe I call Tipsy Chicken, which you might think I put liquor in my chicken. No, it's actually chicken that I'm cooking while I'm tipsy. While I'm tipsy, I tend to, my imagination seems to expand while I'm tipsy. And I, Throw things in my chicken that I maybe wouldn't normally cook with. 
my daughter says that I make better chicken when I'm tipsy. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to bring that to you. And um, also, um, I have an eight-year-old grandson that's here with me uh, most of the time. And I'm always trying out different things with him. And I came up with this peanut butter and jelly pie. And he almost destroyed it all by himself. It was so good to him. But it was super sweet. I tried a little, but it was super sweet. Great for kids. Absolutely great for kids. So um, my email address is shy, S-H-Y underscore T-Y. T-Y is in Tom, Y is in yellow, at hotmail.com. You can hit me up if you have any, any questions. I will answer all of your questions. And um, I'm going to post um, a link to my next video or any other videos at the bottom. As soon as I get a little more acclimated to this posting of videos on YouTube and blog, vlogging, vlogging, just get a little more acclimated to that. So... Anyway, my timer just started at five minutes, so I'm going to pause this because I said I didn't want it to be a wordy vlog. I just want to be doing something and I have nothing to do because this is the last step. So I'm going to pause this and come back. All right. Hello. Five minutes later, I let the air out and I'm going to open. And hope that I have my desired consistency. Oh, 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 oh boy. Oh, it's wonderful. Okay, because of my cabinet, it's blocking my lid from opening all the way. So, oh, that's what I'm looking for. This is hot. That's the consistency I'm looking for. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect now. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about now. That's what I'm looking for. There are some brown specks in it. That's from the rice on the bottom getting a little brown. But I tell you, it is delicious so I'm gonna stir get all my rice off the bottom off camera off camera I'm gonna take the chicken off the bones so I'm not gonna do that on camera uh, because you can serve it with the bones All right. Okay, you can certainly tell I'm a newbie at this, can't you? <laughs> all right, let's just take this off all together. Makes it so much easier. drumstick up here but this is not the way I'm gonna I would typically serve it that's the finished product hmm have to bless my food thank you Jesus <laughs> See my shirt? To God be the glory. Okay, here we go. Nice and creamy. See? Mm. It's delicious. Absolutely, positively delicious. Chicken, nice and tender. Comes right off the bone. Mmm, very good. So, all right guys, my first video blog, I'm sorry, vlog. 
<laughs> and uh, just look for my next one. This is Mama Shay signing out. Bye-bye.